the entrance antiphone. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. Today is the, the ninth anniversary of the dedication of our church. And so we're going to pray an anniversary mass for the dedication of the church. The scripture readings will be from the day, but the anniversary mass for the dedication of the church. Tomorrow, we will pray the mass for the guardian angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who year by year renew for us the day when this, your holy temple, was consecrated. Hear the prayers of your people and grant that in this place, for you there may always be pure worship and for us fullness of redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Have you ever, in your lifetime, commanded the morning and shown the dawn its place? and for taking hold of the ends of the earth till the wicked are shaken from its surface. The earth is changed as is clay by the seal and died as though it were a garment. But from the wicked the light is withheld and the arm of pride is shattered. Have you ever entered into the sources of the sea or walked about in the depths of the abyss? Have the gates of death been shown to you, or have you seen the gates of darkness? Have you comprehended the breadth of the earth? Tell me if you know all, 
which is the way to the dwelling place of light, and where is the abode of darkness, that you may take them to their boundaries and set them on their homeward paths. You know, because you were born before them, and the number of your years is great. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am of little account. What can I answer you? I put my hand over my mouth. Though I have spoken once, I will not do so again. Though twice, I will do so no more. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you, pro you have probed me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. Where can I go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I sink to the netherworld, you are present there. If I take the wings of the dawn, if I settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall guide me, and your right hand hold me fast. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. And whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me, the Gospel of the Lord. Our first reading from the Old Testament book of Job. Job has been very faithful to the Lord despite losing many of his family members, losing a lot of property, even losing his health. The Lord, Job observed, the Lord has given, the Lord has taken away, blessed be the Lord. He finally was getting a little tired of all of the challenges and problems and difficulties in his life. And he went out for a walk in the evening one night and he, he was talking to the Lord. And then he heard the Lord say, Job, were you around when I created the heavens, when I created the earth? Did you tell me how many stars to make, how many uh, continents to make, where the seas were? 
Have you seen heaven? Have you seen hell or the abode of the dead? You know all these things because you've been around a long while. Job recognized that he was nothing in comparison to God. And he said, though I have spoken once, I will speak no more. The Lord knows all. We ask him to guide us on the way that he wants us to go. In the gospel, we hear about the cities that um, did not do what the Lord had, uh, had invited them to do. Though he worked mighty deeds, they didn't follow him. We have been blessed in many ways in our time, in our parish, and we thank the Lord for the ways he has blessed us. This beautiful church dedicated nine years ago, we thank God for all that he has done in and through us, for the ways he has given us his grace, his blessings. Ours is the task to continue to praise him, to continue to worship him, and to continue to ask his grace for us and for all persons in the world that they may grow closer to the Lord. The church asks us on this uh, anniversary of the dedication of the church to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. That the Holy Father will always lead the church with courage and conviction in the midst of our troubled world, we pray to the Lord that world leaders will work to bring justice and peace to the poor and oppressed. We pray to the Lord. That the church's call to repentance and promise of mercy may reach and comfort all those who suffer because of a past abortion. We pray to the Lord. That men and women may generously open their hearts to God's invitation to serve his people through the priesthood, the religious life, the true married life, and the holy single life. We pray to the Lord. For all who have been made ill by the coronavirus, for all who care for them, for the governments and people of the world, that we may experience the healing mercy of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. In thanksgiving for God's many gifts and graces and blessings for us, thanksgiving especially on the anniversary of the dedication of our church, we pray to the Lord. For the intention of this Mass, for Martha Burba, and for our own intentions, united with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, 
we add in silence. We pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear and grant these prayers which we ask in union with the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Recalling the day when you were pleased to fill your house with glory and holiness, O Lord, we pray that you may make of us a sacrificial offering always acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in this visible house that you have let us build and where you never cease to show favor to the family on pilgrimage to you in this place, you wonderfully manifest and accomplish the mystery of your communion with us, here you build up for yourself the temple that we are and cause your church spread throughout the world to grow ever more and more as the Lord's own body till she reaches her fullness in the, full, in the vision of peace, the heavenly city of Jerusalem. And so with the countless ranks of the blessed in the temple of your glory, we praise you, we bless you, and proclaim your greatness as we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna 
in the higher. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom 
power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon in the presence of the angels i will praise you my god an act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the people consecrated to you, O Lord, we pray, receive the fruits and joy of your blessing, that the festive homage they have offered you today in the body may redound upon them as a spiritual gift through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing, answering amen to the triple blessing. May God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who has gathered you today in memory of the dedication of this church, make you abound in heavenly blessings. Amen. And may he who has willed that all his scattered children be gathered together in his Son, grant you, grant that you may become his temple and the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thus may you be made thoroughly clean so that God may dwell within you and you may possess with all the saints the inheritance of eternal happiness. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. You might notice that the dedication candles, four dedication candles are lit to remind us of the anniversary. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ strengthened me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And close to you, bid me. That with your saints, I may be praising you forever and ever. Amen. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our fence against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.